Welcome back to the LC News at 6. Today, live in Jordan, once again we have Emily Sadler uh, looking over uh, some biblical ruins of an amphitheater. Uh, we're going to go live to her here in a minute. But in other news, our site counter is up to 980. Um, to let you guys know, if we do get to 1,500, we will be having a silly string fight. Let's go live now to Emily Sadler in Jordan. Emily, are you there? Hey guys, it's Emily, and I am in a real, live Roman amphitheater here in Jordan. It's the most amazing thing ever. Can we get a look at uh, the ruins uh, from your point of view, Emily? Uh, tell us a little bit about uh, where you're at, Emily. As you can tell, it's old. Oh, we seem to be losing you a little bit. Hang on, Emily. Okay, go ahead. This just is just amazing. I mean, they didn't have, like, chariot races or anything in here. They just had a lot of plays and just, wow, I'm so odd that this is actually still here and in Jordan. I mean, it's Roman built by the Romans back in the early centuries. It's just absolutely amazing. Okay, uh, let us get one last look out there at that uh, theater for us, Emily, and then we'll uh, head on to our next location. Uh, can we get one last look? So what else is there to look at out there at this amphitheater, Emily? I'm gonna go show you guys some of those pillars right now. Go! While she's taking us over there, uh, a few fun facts about the, uh, the theater itself. It, it, it's 33 rows seat uh, 5,000 spectators for performances and uh, possibly also had uh, re religious significance. Um, it's still under regular use for a theatrical and entertainment production. Some beautiful pillars out there, Emily. Uh, what else are you seeing uh, on the top of that hill? We can hear the wind. Uh, tell us what you have in your view out there right now. Way out there, where my finger is pointing, that, my friends, is the Sea of Galilee where Jesus calmed the storm. The Sea of Galilee is the lowest freshwater lake on Earth, uh, approximately 700 feet below sea level. Uh, at its widest points, the lake measures 13 miles uh, and from north to south. Uh, and 7.5 miles from west to east. The lake's total area is 64 square miles. Uh, its, surf its circumference is about uh, 32 miles around. Its deepest point has been variously estimated between uh, 140 feet and uh, 200 feet. It its capacity is a a approximately 3 billion uh, cubic meters, which is 100 billion uh, cubic feet. So... Just wanted you to think about how amazing that was for God to be able to do that. So, what else do you have for us, Emily? And Capernaum is just down there, where near Galilee. It's just amazing. The city of Capernaum was a small fishing village on the northern shore of the Sea of Galilee, about two miles west of the Jordan River. Uh, this ancient town is not mentioned by name in the Old Testament. Uh, Capernaum is referred to as the Lord's own city, Matthew 9.1, for it became the center of his Galilean ministry. Uh, this is interesting since he is not born in Capernaum. His parents didn't live in there, and he did not grow up there. Matthew points out that Jesus began his ministry, Galilean ministry, here in order to fulfill Old Testament prophecy, Matthew 4.13-16 through 16, and Isaiah 9.1 and 2. Uh, five men from around Capernaum, Peter, Andrew, James, John, and Matthew, uh, were called by the Lord to be his apostles. 
That's Mark 1, 16 through 21 and 29. Uh, Jesus had often stayed in Peter's house in Capernaum and preached in the synagogue, where, which had been built by a Roman centurion, uh, Luke 7, 5. The city was important enough to have a, a tax office over which Matthew had presided, Matthew 9, 9. Uh, Capernaum was also a garrison town housing a detachment of Ro Roman soldiers under a centuration along with administrative officials. After his resurrection from the grave, Jesus gave the Great Commission after the eleven disciples went away from Galilee to the mountain which Jesus had appointed for them. Matthew twenty-eight sixteen. What are some other things you're seeing there, Emily? Over there on the horizon is where Jesus healed he healed a man who had demons possessing him, and he went and he healed this man, and then the swine went down the other side of the hill, and just, I'm standing here where Jesus was, and just, wow, this is, wow, 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 wow. I'm sure that it is quite amazing to be standing where uh, Jesus had actually once been. Um, I'm so glad that we have you there, Emily, and it's so wonderful to have someone like you part of the Life Chapter team. Uh, once again, thank you for uh, your dedicated uh, sending me these videos and doing this uh, for us. See you guys soon. Bye. Bye-bye, Emily. Uh, once again, thank you so much. And to our viewers, thank you for logging on to Life Chapter News at 6. We'll see you next week.